Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and... This is Palmar. And... Yeah. You say it this time, Palmar. I'm tired of saying it. Uh, this is Palmar's awesome YouTube series that Direwolf occasionally guest stars in. Correct. What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm gonna make a preheater for this, uh, blast furnace. That sounds like a good use of your time today. Did you finish up cleaning up the inventory in our ship? Nope. Did you finish making a new base? Nope. So you spent an entire episode doing something that you didn't finish, and then you're going to do a new thing without finishing the first thing. That does sound like your style of work ethic, so... Do you, do you want this or not? Frankly, I'd rather have better inventory management, but you do whatever makes you happy, buddy. If you're happy... Thank you. If you're happy doing whatever you just said you're going to do that I didn't listen to, then I'm all on board with it. Thank you for that. You're more than welcome, sir. So we're going to want a casting basin. Should have a thingy here. Cool. And that should have enough room for this to be left and one of these to be left. So that I can do this. Perfect. It's almost like I'm capable of doing math. I have no idea how this thing works. So we've got eight ingots of copper in there. Oh boy. Pahi, please. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's all right, we'll just leave the eight ingots. Uh, we'll dump out the iron first, so three blocks of iron. And in addition to the three blocks, well, well uh, let's clean that up first. Dire. What, are you okay? How does this preheater work? The preheater? Yeah. Uh, you have to give it RF power. It takes RF? Look at the little thing that says zero IF on it. Oh, man. Sorry, buddy. I knew it was a pretty big waste of your time, but, you know, don't listen to me. I don't know nothing. You don't know anything. Uh, so what you should be able to do, uh, if you want, if you want to use that thing, here's what I'm going to recommend. You ready? Uh, look into making the, um, the, the wiring system from Immersive Engineering. Actually, Quest. Is it a quest? Yep, low voltage, wire yeah. connector, relay, wire, coil, and capacitor. Yes, do all those things, but skip the, well, I mean, if you have to make the low voltage capacitor for the quest, go ahead, but high voltage capacitors are like the equivalent level of resources for like way better. And there's like no downside to it. So we're gonna wanna use HV capacitor as our storage for actual capacitors, but yeah. Cool. Cool. So yeah, definitely do that. And then um, once you have those things built, let me know, and I'll start working towards getting us more power production, AKA steam dynamos. Uh, and what we can do is we can hook up like a proper power production system and have like, power generation and power storage and all the things you would normally want when playing this game called Minecraft. So in theory, iron should already be at the bottom now. Because Minecraft has native uh, power. Correct, yes, no, totally vanilla, right? I don't know, I haven't played vanilla in a long time. I forget what it has. You're vanilla. Thanks, buddy. I'll take that as a compliment. Sure. Let's roll with that. That should be cool. Sweet, 48. Okay, cool. Really? Not that many ore chunks? Nice. Apparently I need some terracotta. Cool. I had, uh, I'm pretty sure I had dust around here somewhere. All right, I have like a healthy amount of metals at this point, which is cool. I'm throwing it in our metals chest inside. So yeah, we have like, I'm sure you have some iron on you still because you talk a bunch and never put it away. But uh, I put like a ton in there right now, so we're cool. I can give you half a stack back. Don't you get saucy with me. I know you did, and I appreciate it. It was very kind of you to consider giving me back the thing that was mine. Oh, there you go, getting saucy. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, I think Induction Smelter would probably be the next intelligent thing to make right now, uh, if possible. So let's do that. And that's a quest anyway. So uh, two in bar, easy machine frame, redstone reception coil, and a bucket. Uh, buckets are super annoying to make, aren't they? Uh, do you have that engineering hammer thing? Yep. Can I have it? There you go. Thanks. Where do we have strand chilling at? Oh, come on, dude. What'd you do? Chill out. I came down the stairs. Well, you probably looked at him. I think he's probably still salty at you. For what? Being a jerk. Probably. You can't blame him. Hey, is that big man meat? I'll take it. I also have some of these things. This thrilling combat brought to you by... Armor. So That's how do I get your straight? advertisement here. So we don't have... Do we have crooks? We do have crooks. So I could do like the, the that thing for string, right? That's a thing we could do. Did you ever grow industrial hemp? I think you probably did a little bit, right? Yeah, there's hemp over there. Well, I'm going to probably just put... Um, one of those, I'm gonna make a crook and do the thing with the leaves and everything. So sapling here with me. This should work. I gotta say though, these trees grow really slowly in the nether if you're not doing the whole shift thing. If you're not twerking? Yep, that. Get, get to twerk. I'm doing it. Okay, so those things should start cruising. I'll come back in five minutes for those to be taken care of so we have lots of string. Then I can get the iron for the bucket. Uh, we're going to need to get a couple more copper gears, which shouldn't be a problem. So the bucket is the hardest part of this recipe, officially. Invar is also uh, getting up there, but I think we already figured out how to make Invar, right? We just did the did the thing with the iron. I'm gonna just grab a bunch of iron for now and nickel, right? So if I need two, should be two iron and one nickel. That should theoretically be what I need for Invar. All right, let's see. How do I want to do this? So that should pulverize one. How do you feel about 9 by 9s Love them. Perfect. Best, best thing you could ask for. You know, I've actually never done 9 by 9s Really? Yeah, man. Well, today you learn. Do you know why I do 9 by 9s I know I've said this like many times on my videos, but I'm not actually sure if you understand why I find them to be the best and most efficient use of things. So that's that. You've told me. Okay, good. As long as you know. So we're going to make this, so we can make this. I almost like that machine frame recipe. It feels less painful to make than, like, the vanilla one. I know you have a love affair with geometric perfection. It's pretty good, though. It really is. You took all our redstone, didn't you? Sorry, I, I know where there's more. This doesn't feel like a thing I would do. It absolutely feels like a thing you would do. I need to upgrade, in terms of experience, by the way, like the next skill I need to follow up on is like probably attack and defense. That's something we've, I've, that's something I've been ignoring. Um, so remember like a couple episodes ago? Rare, raging, unslain, what you call it, oh my goodness. Uh, remember a couple episodes ago, I said I was gonna do like some Tinker's tools? I think when we upgraded the pack, they changed. Um, wow, an iron hoe, okay, that's interesting. It's a thing that we just got. Uh, they changed the required resources for, uh, or the required skill levels for Tinker's tools. So if I want to make like a Tinker's sword, 
it's like stupidly high level. Like so, <laughs> so you need you need 15 defense and 18 attack to use any tinker sword at all. Any 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 tinker sword, regardless of the skill. And you need 15 defense and 17 attack to use uh, long swords. And rapiers, and rapiers are 13 defense and 17 attack. So that's a thing. All right, let's get the wand. I'm sure people have been screaming at me to use the wand. Probably. It sounds like something people would do. People never scream. Nope. All right, so that should be an induction smelter. I have everything I need for it now, right? Except the bucket. I need the string for the bucket. So let's put away some junk and get strings and buckets. Except I don't know where it is, so... That's cool. You can go away, Nickel. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it should all be good. I can keep all this stuff on me. I'll put this away. I don't really need it right now. And... I need the string anyway, so I might as well just get moving. Hopefully... Yay, infested leaves. String for days, presumably. At least we have Vein Miner. That would be a really painful thing to not have in this pack. Do crates retain their inventory when you break them? No, but there is an upgrade you can craft that lets them. Okay, I'm not entirely that vested, so. It's like a crate keeper. If you search JEI for crate, you'll see it. It's very obvious what it is. It's a token. You place it in the crate, and then when you break the crate, the token is destroyed, but the crate retains its inventory. Long story short. Yeah, okay. Let's just get these leaves cleaned up. We have no shortage of string at this point, Bob Mar. That's good. Oh, these guys are so annoying. Aren't they though? I'm gonna put the string maybe in our resources chest or maybe a different chest. You know, so I don't know. I could really use more crates. Yeah, that's something you should get on. I'm hearing what you're saying. I'm not liking it. June bugs can go in there. Okay, cool. Always with the inventory problems. All right, so now I should be able to use this with three of these to get that. And a bucket was what now? It's this with string, right? As he puts away all the string that he got. Which is a genius. Yeah, I remember the bucket recipe. Cool. The annoying part where there's something you can't mine. Yeah, it's the worst, isn't it? It's like, but I want to build a house here. And it's like, nope. No house for you. So let's turn that off. Let's put this guy here and set you to that for now. That's all going good. Sweet. And you're gonna fill up your internal buffer. So we have an induction smelter. Hooray! And there is much huzzahing. Why you no realize that you are complete. People are wondering why I'm putting the cobblestone down. It at least tells me where the foundation is. This what? Is I'm trying to get my quest to complete, and it like refuses to complete, even though I have an induction smelter basic. Cheat. 
I crafted it, and, like, it didn't complete the quest. And it's a crafting quest, so it's not having it in your inventory. It's just making it. So I might need to go into edit mode and once I remember how edit mode works. And do something about that. Yeah, we are super full on inventory over here, by the way. If you're ever hungry, we have lots of apples. All right, so that's an induction smelter made, which will at least make our lives a little bit easier. I um, wonder if I could get more into industrial foregoing. Can I make a mechanic? How high do you make your 9 by 9s Five or six? Uh, Five-ish. Five on the interior, right? Tall, yes. Like, whatever feels good. Six might work, too. I don't have, like, an exact... Height usually isn't the exact thing. Oh, hello. Unstable ingot. Nice. That's cool. Do you want to move your water production? Uh, you can if you wish. Why would I do this recipe? Iron, diamond, and unstable ingot. So I can make a mechanical user. So I can automate this bad boy. Okay, so... Wow, we have a lot of sticks. Holy cow, we have a lot of sticks. Let's get that mechanical user going. Uh, I know I had... That cutting dude. Yeah, glass cutter. But I don't think I used all the ender pearls. They would be around here somewhere, probably. There they are. Sweet. So Where did that... you take off? What's that? You made someone upset. Why did you make them upset? I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? So we're going to want a couple diamonds. Two diamonds to be exact. Invar can go away because I'm pretty much done with you. So the mechanical user is actually like fairly doable. A uh, piece of redstone, mechanical user, two levers, easy peasy. We want to be ready to do this craft because this is like, you know, yield and stable ingot process, right? So mechanical user, unstable ingot, redstone, dropper. Good to go. So two of you. We should have 10 seconds to craft with this. So just to make sure, mechanical user, unstable with resonating in the middle, dropper. Hey, what? You say you're a crafting table? Oh, you probably don't work on non-vanilla crafting tables. That's probably the problem. Say what now? Okay, off by one, apparently. I assume any stick would, yeah. And diamond. That should be working. This recipe is not unclear to me. I mean, there's this one as well, but... Mm -hmm. Does it have to be blocks of iron? If it does, so be it, but I'm just saying, J.E.I. is lying then. What'd you make? I picked up your um, tank and transposers. Oh, oh great. okay, so this works. Interesting. Interesting that JEI shows both recipes. I was wondering why it was showing both recipes. That makes sense. Okay. Can you not do that? Unstable ingot recipe? That was really weird. That was super weird. What happened? Unstable ingots are very buggy to craft. But, uh, I made them. Oh, I don't meet the requirements to use it. Wow, that is a lot of requirements. I don't know why I just bothered making that without checking requirements. I am a derp. Because you're a derp? Yeah, I forgot about requirements. I was getting all excited about, like, automation. And I'm like, oh, right, we have to level up certain things in order to use certain things. <laughs> That's a thing you gotta do, good, isn't it? Good job. 
Good job, Direwolf. Uh, okay. Okay, yep, cool. that worked. All right, so then let's put this away. We'll be able to use that eventually. This requires a stupidly high magic skill, which I don't have at the moment. All right, so uh, you want to come back in a minute, buddy? Sure. What's up? It's almost done. What's that? Excavating out this uh, nine by nine. Nice, dude. That's cool. I'm going to work on... The inventory. Uh, I think I'm working on right now. I'm going to focus on continuing with industrial foregoing. Uh, and then once I've got that going, another thing I want to do, Palmar, is I would like to go find a wither skeleton or some wither skeletons. Does that sound like a terribly bad idea? It should. It should. Uh, why? Uh, because I would like to get a drop of evil from them, which we can use to make Cursed Earth. And if we set up a Cursed Earth mob spawner, which we should totally be able to do at this stage. Oh, we, dear. We might be able to set up... So, yeah. We have level 10 building. We can make a mob masher. I don't see anything that we don't have access to in terms of resources right now. It's a lot of iron and diamonds, but, like, totally doable. So we should easily be able to set up an automated mob grinder. Uh, which would drop experience. Um, and Thermal has a block that will pick up experience in an area and deposit it into a tank that we can use to get the XP from, I think. So, uh, transmutes items, collects experience in an area, insightful condenser. Yeah, so we just need a Tome of Knowledge, which needs 18 gathering, but I think we're pretty close to that, maybe. Uh, that's an easy recipe. Uh, how close am I to 18 gathering? Yeah, we have 16 gathering right now. So I could level up my gathering skill. Uh, we could totally get that Tome of Knowledge, and that would give us like really easy access to experience. So I think that should be like one of our very next focus. Foci. Focuses. <laughs> foci. That should be our next foci. Is, uh, maybe next episode or the one after. Remind me that what I want to do is go wow that is a small okay you need lots of water you need lots of water holy cow do you need a lot of water is there any way to get an infinite water source at this point or like no what can we get by way of infinite water source water planter so we could get a rod of the seas that's probably within reach water do, 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 do. I could probably go down that route. But Tanya should give me access to infinite water. Cheaty water wand. Super cheaty water wand. From extra utilities. Okay, yeah, it's probably not happening. Uh, water, 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 water. Turbine, water mill. Arc. Arc what? I made it one too deep. When having two or more sides of water sources blocks, it will start collecting water. The more sides of source blocks, the more the water will procure. That's what I want. Uh, so you just need some plastic. That is totally reasonable. So a water condensator. And I can place it because of my current levels. So that's what we want. Water condensator. That will get us infinite water, like, and that's going to be good. So we don't have to worry about that leave set up for too much longer, Potmar. Uh, I just need... Actually, I can make that right now if I'm correct. Because I believe I can do this. Nice. Which I can then smelt into these. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now I need more. Um, wow, that's ugly. Yep. What's ugly? The 9 by 9 They're gorgeous and say nothing more against them. Seriously, dude. Like, look at it. Well, look, you made it ugly. When I make them, they're gorgeous. When you make them, they're ugly. What can I say? I'll chisel this eventually. I'll chisel you. That's a great threat. Have you ever been chiseled before? That's what I'm I saying. I feel like it would be pretty painful. Thank you very much. This should be doable. Yeah. 
This should be really close to being good and done. We are halfway to having enough plastic. Oh, you're not my nice take a long time. To make? Not if you're good at it. Shush. <laughs> I mean, I can knock them out in about five minutes. You've spent an entire episode making a 9x9. Just put it out there. Don't make me tweet up pictures of my previous builds. I would love to see your previous builds. They sound lovely. Do you remember the one that was struck by lightning? Uh, yeah, I kind of do. That was a sad day. Yeah. Well, I'll have you know we have rainbow lights in here. Sweet. Do we have any more water? I just need a little bit more water, and then we'll be infinite water time. That'll be a good time, actually. I'm actually going for this really hard right now, because I totally want this to be a thing. Why are you digging out the floor under my feet again, out of curiosity? Uh, because you're bad. Look, where'd you put all the uh, crucibles that were here? I need them back. They're expensive. You just put them in like, okay, that works. I don't need everything, Have fun. I just need the crucibles. Congratulations on rebuilding it again. What is bumping me away? Something's like pushing me around. Did you hear the blaze? I actually don't. Like literally something is pushing me backwards. It's really weird. Is, are you getting that too or is it just me? Uh, rare repulsing monster ember of retribution. Cool. That must have been him. He's dead now. Thank you, sir. So this should smelt down, and then we'll have an infinite water source. In like, such a tiny amount more. So yeah, I'll get this finished, and I'll move a bunch of crates in there, and we'll get our inventory sorted. Okay. I'll just leave that one because we should. Are we still so low on copper? What have you done? Uh, not sifted copper. Look around. There should be some going on. Why you gotta be like that? All right. So now we're gonna want a block of iron. I'm gonna make this infinite water source, and that's gonna make our lives a bajillion times easy, Pa. So water condensator needs what are you, what are you machine doing? frame. I'm making an infinite water source. Come on. And then eight. And how is that going to make our lives a billion times easier? Because uh, we'll have access to water, which we need for like steam turbines and like a handful of other things. And then a bucket of water mm -hmm. and then another redstone. Okay. So let's get down here and start cooking up first the eight gears that we're going to need. And then a block. And then two pistons. You're going to be a machine frame. Now I am going to have to get two water source blocks, but that... Wait a second. I'm hoping these things count as water source blocks for the water condensator. That's what I'm hoping for in this build. But we're doing it live. So we're gonna hope. Again, so. Because these count as water source blocks for other things, right? Like, so in theory, this should work. In theory, this should work, Bahamar. This may not work. We're gonna find out though. If it doesn't, oh well. This is zombie pigment on purple fire over here. Not sure what to make of it, just reporting it. Can we come back in a sec? Yes. All right, dude, I'm back. Did you just call me duty? No, I said dude. 
So now I'm hoping, because you can't place water source blocks in the nether, right, obviously. When having two or more sides with water source blocks, it will start collecting water. The more sides of source blocks, the more water it will produce. Uh, so I'm hoping that, like other things, this tank from Nether Utils acts enough like a water source block that it will make the water condensator work. I'm hoping that to be the case. Uh, so I just need some iron bars and some iron. So let's investigate that possibility of being a thing that we can get. Wow, we're surprisingly low on iron again. I'm sure we have iron bars here somewhere though. Good, perfect amount too. So what I'm gonna do is make two more of these because this has water in it and I can use the water that's in it. So oh, that twine. What's up? I'm going to make more crates, but I got more of that twine I need. Do you have iron on you by chance? Actually, never mind. I found some. I do not. Okay. Oh, or a bucket. Uh, there should be a bucket in the um, coal coven. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I, I'm good, actually. I found iron to make a bucket. So guys, really super duper. Oh, you didn't use my bucket. Okay, I didn't actually need that. Never mind. Super duper extra triple. Insanely cross your fingers that this works. So what I'm going to have is you here. You have water in you. So you're going to go here and you and you. Oh, misclicked. Condensate. Condensate. I don't think it's working. I don't think yelling at it's going to make it any better. I feel like it should. I was really hoping this would work, dude. I was really hoping this would work. It worked for everything else. I was so hoping that would work. It was worth a try. You know. Sure, I could have tested it in a test world, but I think it was more fun to do it live. Um, okay, so that's, unless they have to be full, which they might have to be, but I don't really know. So, I mean, like, I'll try filling them up with water. I forget if they have to be full or not to be counted. I know that one was full, so uh, it wouldn't be too bad to get a full tank. Let's do this. Dude. Yeah. I'm moving inventory. Into our new house? Yep. Well, that's exciting. That's this very is, exciting. This is going to be boring. Well, luckily, we've pretty much reached the wrapping up point for the episode, so you can do most of it off camera between episodes if you want. Because right now, it's just to get it all in one location, and then I'll sort. Right. Is there another thing? And then you're still going to make this thing look ugly. I might work on a rod of the seas, though I don't know if that would fill up inventories or not. That usually just places a source block down, which again doesn't seem all that useful. There's hot spring water, heavy water, distilled water. These are all icy two things. Is there something like a spring? Is there a sink? Can we use the sink, the multi-block kitchen sink? Anyway, it is the wrapping up point. Is it super the wrapping up point? It is very super the wrapping up point. Can I have one minute? I just want to see if this works with full buckets of, with full tanks adjacent. I don't think it matters, but it's worth trying. Actually, we've got some water here too. That can help just fill it up quickly. Come on, work water condensator. I wanted this to work so bad. I assume he doesn't need RF or anything, so. Womp womp. That's a feels bad. Good job, bud. 
Oh well, it was worth a try, like I said. Uh, so here's what I'm going to try. The multi-block sync next episode. Let's try that. I'm going to try that probably between episodes, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And we'll just go from there. Does that sound like a cool plan, buddy? Always cool, dude. Alright, for now, Daryl20 and Palmar signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. Bye-bye.